Welcome back to Elden Ring. We just found the site of grace at the upper part of the deep root. I was thinking I didn't want to rest it because I didn't want to respawn, respawn all the enemies we fought down there, but I don't think I'm going to be facing all those enemies again. I don't think I'm going to have to run through them again. And I have a lot of souls, so let's rest. How many do I have? 69,000. Let's use enough runes to get another level. I think just one Newman's rune should do it. Maybe two, actually. Nope, that's enough. Let's get two more int. So if we go back on the tree branches, we can get over here to this part that's above the waterfalls. And then over here leads to a huge... Well, to me, this looks like a boss arena. So I'm a little bit scared of that. Let's go the other way. <laughs> um, what's the best way to get back there? Yeah, that does it. Whoa. Bye. Oh, right, one of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> wanted to just take them out with a sword hit because they had such little health left. I'd never actually gotten that close to them before. I'd never tried to melee them before. Whoa. Almost ran into this huge hole. Didn't see that before. Be wary of monster buttholes. <laughs> Jesus. that spell would come in handy one day. It's just absolutely perfect for this situation.
I almost feel like I could actually get up there. If I did a double, double jump right from the tip. Eh. I'm guessing it's a case of you gotta go down to get up. Wait, I hear something sleeping. Oh, it's a bear. Strong foe ahead. Can I jump up here? We're about to find out. Thank God it can't. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Let's try this. That actually worked really well. Okay, that's not the greatest. But we're fine. Yeah, using the infant's head makes you move forward very, very, very slightly. Prince of Death's cyst. Ooh. We already have something kinda like that. Yeah, we have Prince of Death's Pustule, and now there's Cyst. Yay! Raises vitality. What does that do? Governs resistance to the effects of death. Oh, it's just a better version. Yeah. Greatly raises vitality. It is said that this Cyst came from the corrupted visage of one unable to die a true death. It comes from the Prince of Death. Uh, indeed, it comes from the Prince of Death, Scion of the Golden Bough, and First of the Dead among the Demigods. Right, the... Finger Reader Crone was telling us about that. Oh, wait a minute. That just comes out back down here. Well then, how do I get to that other part? Let me take a look around. Yeah, I couldn't find any other way to get up there, so... I guess there's maybe a way up... Up there from here, perhaps? Um, yeah, I don't like that. No horse here, huh? I really don't like that.
I'm guessing that's the Prince of Death. There's a teleportation thing deactivated over there. Is it gonna wake up or not? <laughs> oh, it's got that weird melted face. Just like that place in the castle where we got the the um the pustule. Ugh. Mm. Fierce champion. Wasn't expecting someone so small. Oh, you want to dodge? Guess what I have? Night Comet! Can't even see it. Okay, there's gotta be more than just that, right? Rogier? What are you doing here? They did say that they thought they would have to apologize to me because there, something bad is going to happen. I think this is the bad thing. Oh. Ow. Ow. Okay, I think I'm going to need to night comet, comet them as well. It hurts. Oh no. Whoa. Okay, I'm sure there's probably more. What's next? is champion, champion, Lionel the Lionhearted. Oh, fuck me. Oh, look at this round one. Oh my god, so round. I love them. <laughs> they all just stare at my body. Well, this is going to be tough. Hmm. Yeah, Night Comet seems like it's the way to go. What the heck? These are breakable, right? Someone got a message at the tip of one. They're breakable, which means to get that, they must have done a sprint jump without breaking it, and then somehow walked up it? Uh, how? How the heck? <laughs> There's one on this one, too. Actually, maybe they didn't sprint jump. Maybe they just walked. Oh, you just walk! <laughs> oh, let's read this one. You gotta very carefully walk. If only I had a bow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this in the battle arena? Could I walk to the top of one of these and would I be safe from melee hits?
That'd be funny if that's the strat. Okay, I might need to save my FP, so let's this one's pure melee, I think. Yeah, this one's super easy. I'm trying to get the one that's staying back, so I'm assuming they're staying back for a reason. Yeah, because they're a caster. No! Not the skulls. Ah. Oh, wow, those follow really well. Ah, they're scary. Spooky, scary skeletons. Okay, they're really good at dodging that. It's interesting, they all, like, roll in unison when I start casting it, but they don't roll when the, uh, the rocks actually come. Like, as soon as I cast it, they roll. Prematurely. Ah! Oh, shit. Come on, get with the group, get with the group. Oh, I was so close to taking one out. But all right, the first two are really easy. First one melee, second one night comet. It's these group that are hard. Maybe I should cast something that takes less time to cast. So I can't use the glint shard really because they dodge it so easily, but maybe the um, magic glint blade, the one that shoots after a second. So I wouldn't be using it to get around their armor, but yeah, just to get around their rolling. Did I pick up my souls before? I don't remember. Ah, well. I think this place is actually really good for grinding souls because those weird sentry things give you like 3,500 runes each and they're extremely easy to kill. Night Comet ready. I did get my souls apparently. Alright, let's go. Wait, who are you? You're different. Oh, you got the liquid blades. Fuck.
Yeah, I'm gonna range you. Shit, I went past it. Nah, nah, I went past it again. There it is. All right, Rogier. Okay, so we're gonna try Magic Limp Blade. Yeah, they don't dodge it when the projectile comes out. They dodge when I'm casting it, mostly. Oh, they have a jellyfish shield. That's so cool. That is so cool. It's so pretty, that jellyfish shield. One more on Lionel the Lionhearted. One of those should hit. Got him. Okay. Now we only have to deal with two. Oh, I hit the other one, and the other one's actually really weak. Maybe the champions are all quite weak, actually. Maybe it's just the named ones that are strong, so maybe I should have attacked these before going for Lionel the Lionhearted. I might have made this harder on myself. Okay, please tell me there isn't another round, right? Please? Please? Okay. Oh. 40,000. Fears missed. I'm glad I don't have to fight the big one. Whew. And the portal works now. Let's level up. Actually, I'm pretty close to getting another level. Man, I'm getting a lot of levels really fast. <laughs> this place is amazing for XP. Should I just keep getting smarter? How smart can I get? Let's get up to an even 30 vigor. Another mine gives me five more FP, which is quite good. A little more weight would be nice. Plus stamina is quite important, honestly. That gives me two more stamina points. I've also been kind of neglecting decks. Let's, yeah, let's put another point into decks. Actually, no. Another point into smarts. I want to be really, really, really heckin' smart. Look carefully required ahead. Do they just mean the portal? Still can't use torrent? Let's see where it takes us.
Lindendale Royal Capital. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how big this fucking map is. Jesus Christ. Um. Don't know if I really want to start from here. Some random place. Here again? Didn't expect castle. Yeah. I would like a side of grace, I guess, before I leave. It's also possible this is a completely isolated place. You know, like, I remember, I think it was the trap chest in the Tower of Return here that took me to somewhere in the capital where that giant was, where I also got the... the... what was it? The Blessed Dew Talisman that slowly restores HP. This could be like a self-contained thing, I suppose. Precious item ahead. What, a bench? <laughs> Don't give up, old codger. <laughs> you can do it. Message or lever? We just don't know. Capital outskirts. Oh, there's a boss through there. I think I can see a part of the boss. See that? It looks like a tree branch, but it's moving just above the building. Capital Rampart. This place is scary. It's big and intimidating and I'm so far away from anything. Oh, Divine Bridge. That must have been the place I was teleported to before. Let me go the other way. So yeah, what's this way? Could this be a god? Um, I don't think so. They seem to be an enemy, but they're not attacking me yet. They'll probably try to stab me in the back, but I'll leave them alone for now. Oh, there's another bonfire. Yeah, I don't think this is an isolated place. This feels like it's just putting you smack dab in the middle of a place that you, you know, could have fully explored otherwise. Which I find very overwhelming. Like, I don't like to just be in the middle of a new place. I like to be like at the start of a new place and then slowly uncover it. So this actually makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Doesn't open from this side. Try jumping. Uh, yeah, nah. Oh my god, look at this. Beautiful. What happened here? Dragon frozen. What are those? 
No, this is too much. Nope. I have two bonfires. I can come back there if I want. Let's go back to the deep root. Because we're not done here. Now that I've... Yeah, I guess sort of defeated the Prince of Death, did I? I'm not really sure. But let's talk with the crone again and see if they say anything different now. No. Okay. Still more to do here, of course. So, we explored up and kind of everything around the waterfall area. But I didn't continue this way. Whoa, 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 something else? Oh, right, you. Oh no, are you stuck on a log? Ah! Don't want that thing bothering me. Oh, the horse is headless too, I just realized. Oh, what a good horse. Look at it. <laughs> oh. You're free. You see, it didn't take any damage at all. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch where you walk. Oh, I love that it's just wandering around now. I want to get on it. Oh, I already had this? Oh, I did. Right, I got it and then didn't actually rest it. Yeah, just a bunch of coffins. friends. Yeah, I could just drop down there. Oh, don't even have to drop down. You can just walk down. I've defeated those. Yeah, I kind of fell down here. So I've like sort of explored this area. Oh, there's an item. Who are you? They have a bow. I bet they're going to be a pain in the ass. Basilisks in the bushes. Yeah, so I was here before.
Oh, sorry, Torrent. That hurt. Oh no. Oh, I drank my flask of wondrous physic. I meant to heal. Oh. Horse is perfectly fine once again. Good boy. I love that spell so much. Wait, where's your stuff? I don't see any stuff. Do I need to, like, do something special? To make the stuff appear? This one's clean. Ah! Like, maybe need to kill all the ghostly protectors to make it appear? Kind of doubt it, but, um, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Hope the headless horses don't count. Oh no. Oh, they came down. Not too bad.
horse is only slightly hurt. They're mostly fine. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Mausoleum gauntlets. I wonder what those look like. Definitely a way up there, because I saw an item up there. Oh no. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's 
time for revenge, yes. Now, how do I get off here without dying? Oh, I think I could, yeah, I could just fall here. Ooh, that... <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I wanted to get on the tree so I could... Uh, wow. Well, time to kill all those enemies again. No, just kidding. I'm not going to. Hell no. Don't know what you're supposed to do about the mausoleum. Maybe you're just not supposed to get that one down. But I'm just going to ignore most of the enemies now. Oh, my souls are up above, right? Oh, Christ. I guess I'll go get him back. I don't remember how many souls I had, but probably a decent amount. Okay, here's how you get that item. Anything else up here? Oh yeah, another item. Souls. Oh, do you jump onto the top of the, um, the mausoleum? Looking for items and trying not to die from, die from death, literally speaking. Because of the basilisks. I don't see any other items. So is it going to fall down now, or...? Oh! The problem is up here! You know, I never actually looked at this stuff. It's like... Oh, that's so weird. If you just look at it really briefly, it looks like, I don't know, coral or something. But it's also a bunch of skulls at the same time. Creepy. I love that they did something different with this one, that you have to get up on it. That's where the infection or whatever this is lies. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, not going that way. Oh! Jesus Christ, I didn't realize it was going down. Okay, 
We got enough. I want to get off the last bits. Oh. Of course, I don't actually have a need to use this. What's left to explore here? I think there's a beetle somewhere over here. I remember hearing it, but not seeing it. Oh, I see a jump over there. Message said I'm going to get sniped. That was fine. Oh, there you are. I think I got all the items on the trees. Is that just for taking you up here? Just a little jump? Yeah. Lightning required ahead. Oh, for that dude. Ugh. That's fine. Crucible Knight Siluria. Oh, wow. Those attacks are so cool. They're so, so cool, so pretty. Glorious tree. I 
It's a great spear. Has its own special. Celeria's Woe. Does, uh, takes strength, dex, and faith. Does holy damage. Celeria's Tree, weapon of one of the two honored as foremost among the Crucible Knights. The primordial form of the Ur Tree is close in nature to life itself, and this spear, modeled on its crucible, is imbued with ancient holy essence. Celeria's Woe. Thrust the tree spear in a spiraling motion, surrounding it in a vortex of wind. Charged attacks have the power to blow away enemies and can fire the tornado afterwards. God, that'd be such a cool weapon. set of crucible tree armor. Let's take a look. Let's get the headpiece first. Very heavy. Better at most things. No surprise. Helm of the Crucible Knights who served Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The Great Tree ornamentation is the Knight Saloria's mark, displayed also by her men. Holds the power of the Crucible of Life, the primordial form of the Erd Tree. Strengthens aspects of the Crucible incantations. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely does not fit my character. Doesn't even seem to fit my head. That is extremely heavy. But how's it look? Quite bulky. Very heavy armor for sure. Pretty though. Very pretty. Oh, those are really pretty too. They don't entirely fit with this armor, though. They stand out too much if I wore them just like this. What about the legs? That's an interesting look. Does that put me into heavy load? Yeah, it does. They're so heavy. Just... Checking this corner over here. Ah! Once Liam sold your ashes. Boss ahead, try jumping. No. Maybe? Unlikely. I think that's it. Wait, no, there's one thing I haven't done. There's a little cave here. With a bear inside of it, I think. Are you not going to leave your cave? Oh! <laughs> I tried to drink my flask of wondrous physic. 
Oops. How about I make them go to sleep? I know they're already sleeping, but... You know, they're sleeping, then they're asleep. I don't know, they don't seem very sleepy. Hello? Okay, now I think that's everything for this area, except there is still that place that I couldn't get up to. Wait, is that actually a place? Hold on. Let's actually level up first. I used a couple Newman's runes, so I can get two levels instead of just one. I'm gaining so many levels here. Yeah, let's get even smarter. Okay, is it actually an area up here? Like, I convinced myself it was, I guess because the stone looked like I could maybe get up there, but... Is it actually? I don't think it is. Now that I look at it, I don't see an item. No, the stone just made me think I could maybe get up there. And at some point I thought, well, it must be a place to go. Well, it's not. There's nothing on the map, no. Okay. Then we are done with Deep Siafra. Uh, not Deep Siafra, well, um, Deep Root. Before I forget, I just wanted to go back to Nakaron. Um, from here, I never went down here to see whether it, like, led to this city. Does this lead anywhere, actually? Oh, yes, it does. Night's sacred ground. Rejuvenating boluses. That might be new. It is. Alleviates death blight buildup. episode here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore Nokron.